We've discussed many times about ensuring the health of the construction worker and that they stay intact. But what about the machines that are operating to get that job done? Here to tell us all about the new form of the health that we're talking about is Jim Wagner, who is the manager of machine health, and Andrew Kaler, product marketing manager of John Deere Worksite. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so let's talk about that. What are we talking about when we're talking about the center of this monitoring and all about what that means today? Sure, absolutely. So what we're trying to do today is leverage the telematics that our equipment is uh, equipped with out of the factory. And that telematics enables us to collect data from those machines, data like diagnostic trouble codes, um, also known as fault codes from those machines, uh, other data like oil temperatures, oil pressures, uh, anything that really helps us understand how that machine's operating. And we want to use that data to understand what is the health of that machine? Is there an impending issue that, that a customer may experience? And that's where our team comes in and our, our network of dealers to really help support uptime for customers. Now, when we talk about telematics, telematics is not new. It's something that's been around for a very long time. But now, how we actually leverage telematics is really the power of information. Let's talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in years past, customers would be inundated with the amount of information that they're getting via the telematic system on their equipment. But with the Machine Health Monitoring Center and with our dealers' machine monitoring centers, they help to understand that data, to help generate insights from that data, and ultimately be able to respond with a customer with the most important information that keeps their machines up and running, maximizes their uptime, like Jim said, and allows them to do their job without having to worry about whether their machines will be up and running. So Jim, when you look at all this information today, what kind of information does John Deere think that they can do differently today with their machines than you were able to do, let's say, five years ago? Sure. So I think probably the, the big differentiator all comes down to the customer experience. So in the past, if a customer has experienced a problem with a machine, in most cases they were the first one to recognize that. And it was a very reactive, and traditionally throughout the industry, it's been a very reactive support model for supporting downtime for customers. The big difference today is with the data we have from our machines, we can actually see when a potential issue is starting to creep up on a machine. And so what that enables us to do through our dealer network is really deliver a more proactive support model for customers so that they can actually schedule downtime rather than having a machine go down in the middle of an, an, an operation. So you've just described the difference between proactive and reactive and predictive maintenance, and that allows to getting the most life out of your machine. When you guys talk about that, how is that really related to really saving money at the job site when you're using and maximizing a piece of equipment? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we know from a, a lot of our customers' interaction with us that downtime costs them a lot of money. They have deadlines that if they don't hit their deadline on their on their job, they are, they're subject to really stiff penalties. But they also, from day to day, if they have a machine in their production operation that goes down, every other machine and every other employee that supports that machine that's down is also down. So it's a, a really important for our customers to keep their machines up and going, and that translates to productivity, that translates to dollars and profitability. Have we been talking about when you look at that, how to extrapolate and really look at the right amount of data with that? Because as you just described there, it, looking at information is great, but looking at what's the right information to leverage that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the, that's the beauty of the machine monitoring center, that our dealers monitor that information coming in from the customer's machine. And they can segregate those things that are things that they can service at the next time they see the machines, or those things that are really important that could take the machine down in, in a matter of hours or days. And if they can focus on those really eminent failures, those are the things that customers are most interested in. And then they can catch the rest of the stuff at the next time the, the machine needs maintenance. Are you giving your dealers insights, uh, the insight to actually know how to leverage this information? Because we always get overwhelmed by data because we don't really know how to use it. So is there proper training to actually know how to use this health monitoring center that you're describing? Because I think all of a sudden if you say it's there, I think people are going to be afraid of it. Is there that time that says we're going to walk you through this information? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we have uh, essentially two different levels of monitoring that are happening in our world today. So our dealers are pretty well equipped to monitor kind of for the basic type issues that are happening in to, for customers. So they understand diagnostic trouble codes. They have experience. They're better than most. Right, exactly. <laughs> absolutely. 
So they generally, they will have a very experienced field technician take a role called a machine monitoring specialist. That person has a wealth of background and knowledge to understand what failures correspond to the information from those machines. But if we take it up another level, what we're doing at Deere to supplement our dealers is really applying more big data and analytics techniques to this information where we can actually apply subject matter expertise from our engineers, from our product support folks to really hone in on those very challenging issues that we can then provide very direct information to our dealers to be able to proactively support those problems. Now, I got to ask, before we run out of time here, how's the relationship you guys now have with Kespri going to fit into this whole relationship you got going? Yeah, absolutely. Kespri brings a whole new data set to our customers uh, they can use to get more insights to manage their job site, maximize productivity, and maximize um, uptime on the job site. So the insights that our customers generate from the 3D topography or the stockpile volumetrics that come from the Kesper Aerial Intelligence Solution, as I said, is another stream of data that gives us customers, our customers, insights, again, to understand what's going on the job site, monitor uh, job site progress, and ultimately uh, be more profitable. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us today. We really enjoyed it. Absolutely. Thanks Thank you for very having much. us. All right. That's our innovation and technology for today.